Hello and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to focus on creating a project in the Eclipse IDE that provides a starting point to developing extensions for Activity Enterprise 1.31 and 1.32. You may be asking yourself, why should I watch this video? Here are a few questions to help you come to this answer. Are you an Activity Enterprise developer using version 1.31 or higher? Do you use Eclipse as your development IDE in Maven to perform builds? Do you need to write custom activity components such as task listeners, event listeners, service tasks, etc.? If you had answered yes to any of these questions, then it makes sense to watch this video. Now let's create a project. Here we have Eclipse Mars with an empty workspace. Let's create a new Maven project. Select File, New, Maven project from the menu. If that isn't available, select Project instead, type Maven in the filter, and select Maven project here. On this screen, take the defaults, except make sure Create a Simple Project is not checked. In the archetype list, find the archetype with the group ID of com.microstrat.activity and the artifact ID of activity-archetype. If that isn't available, try adding it by clicking the Add Archetype button. Type com.microstrat.activity as the archetype group ID and activity archetype as the archetype artifact ID. Enter 0 0.7 or whatever the latest version of the archetype is as the archetype version. Since I already have the archetype in my list, I'm just going to cancel out of this. I'm going to select the archetype and I'm going to click Next. Enter your group ID. In my case, I'm going to do com.eaml.activity and I'm going to do EHA test as my artifact ID. In the property section, you can change the default version of Java. However, keep in mind that activity requires a minimum version of 1.7. You can also change the version of activity. Currently only 1.31 and above are supported. For 1.32 you don't need to do anything, just accept the defaults. Starting with 1.32, the activity team has broken out the dependencies from activity app that are required to create custom components into its own POM. For versions prior to that, a POM file with these dependencies is required. MicroStrategies has provided a POM for 1.31. However, to use it, you not only need to change the activity version number to 1.31, you also need to change the activity app dependencies group to com.microstrat.activity. However, in this case, let's go with the latest. In a few minutes, your project will be created. Let's take a look at what was created. We now have three projects. The root project has the name of the artifact we gave, in this case EHA test. If we open that up, we see that the other two projects are child projects of it. The root project is just a simple parent container that contains shared plugins, dependency management, and modules for the other projects. The dash ext project is the project where our custom code will be placed. There is currently very little in this project, just a sample task listener. In the future, we hope to add other sample listeners and other customizations. The other project is Activity App, which is a thin wrapper around the Activity App WAR with the extensions included. This project is provided primarily for testing of customizations in a local development environment. Now that we have a project, how would we run it in development mode? There are at least two ways to run inside Eclipse. We can run in its own container or install Activity and use the embedded Tomcat. Both approaches are similar, and for this presentation we'll use an installed Activity 1.3.2 instance. I've already installed Activity Enterprise and set up the license file. Before we get started, we need to do some housekeeping. We need to remove the existing Activity app folder and WAR file. I recommend backing them up to be safe. One other thing we need to do is start up the database. 
Let's navigate to the H2 directory and run the startup script. We also need to configure the database for Activity Enterprise. While we're in the H2 directory, let's copy the jar file as it also contains the JDBC driver. Let's navigate to the Tomcat lib directory and paste the file here. We also need the Activity App properties. Luckily, the archetype already contains that for us. The archetype is located in, under the Activity App in Source Main H2DB Resources. Let's copy the file there and paste it into here. You may already have a file there, and that's okay. Just replace the file. Now we are ready to create our server in Eclipse. Open the Servers tab and create a new server. Select Tomcat 8 and name our server. Select the Tomcat installation directory. In this case, it's already selected for me. Add the Activity app. Notice how the Activity app extension is already included. Now double click the server and edit the launch configuration. Switch to the Arguments tab and add the memory parameters. Since this is Java 8, we don't need the max perm size parameter. Make sure we're using the Tomcat installation and increase the timeouts to 180 seconds or 3 minutes and 60 seconds for the stop or 1 minute. Save the changes and let's start our server in debug mode. And here is our activity instance. If you run into any issues, here's a couple of common scenarios that you may have to uh, resolve. Um, you may have to build your Maven project. So if you can right click on your main project and select run as Maven build. Enter package as the goal or higher. Click run. You may also have to update your project configuration through the Maven menu in Eclipse. To do this, you right click the main project and select Maven update project. Here's some additional info. The source of the activity archetype is available on GitHub, and the artifacts are available in Maven Central. If you find any issues, you can submit them in GitHub for now. Let me know if you want to help out. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation. We appreciate your time, and feel free to reach out to us to see if we can help you like we help our clients.